Right, so I've migrated over to the playroom now to tell you more stories. Yay! Anyway, so, uh, let's think. What story can I tell you? Oh, yes, I know. A two-part story here. Two different stories about my sister misbehaving. Now, let's just clarify. She doesn't behave this way very much anymore, only when she's tired. But this was when she was three, and she's four now. And I remember when she was three, she'd always not eat her dinner properly. She'd always leave half of it. She'd always put her hand in her food. She'd always put it on the table. She'd always not eat at all. And then she'd have the guts to ask for a biscuit or something. Anyway, so this happened, I don't remember when, probably about this time last year, maybe a bit after, so like May, June last year. So, I was being very usual, I was babysitting. I mean, that's what I did as a 13 year old, most of my time was spent babysitting because my mum was ill, as she still is now. So I babysit sometimes now, because she's ill. Anyway, <clears throat> so... Yeah, so I remember this kind of well, but it's quite a long story. So, <coughs> so I remember I was meant to be putting my sister to bed. So, I told her that she has to tidy up all of her toys. Because she had made a hell mess of the floor. Now think of that right there. Imagine that being poured onto your floor. That's the type of mess she had put on the floor. I told her to tidy... And she straight up just said no to me. Just like that, just no. That didn't impress me at all. I I'm not going to lie, sometimes I'm a bit violent, because I but I don't remember what I did. So chances are I probably either slapped her gently, or I just yelled at her f for a while. Saying like, how dare you say no to me. Anyway, so I remember that she then said no even more, so I was just like, okay. How about you go brush your teeth first, and then you tidy your toys, and then I'll get you in your pyjamas. She agreed to that, luckily. So she ran into the bathroom. It had been about 5-10 minutes, and she hadn't came out. So I went and said, why are you taking so long? And she didn't reply. And then she came out with a metal pole. Don't know why there was a metal pole laying in my bathroom, but there was. And she was like... This is my walking stick, I'm very old. And I was like, put that away and tidy your toys. Did you brush your teeth? She said yes, because she had apparently brushed her teeth, but she hadn't washed her face. But I didn't care, I could wash her face afterwards. So she was like, no, I'm old, and started complaining. And I was like, you're three years old, that's not old at all. Put that walking stick down and go and tidy your toys. She didn't have a good time wanting to do that, so instead she started having a strop and screaming and stamping her feet and god knows what else. Then my mum called the house phone which is downstairs from upstairs and said why is she misbehaving, why is she screaming and then she required to have her on the phone and I told my mum obviously that she needed to tidy so then my mum spoke to my sister on the phone quickly, you've got to tidy up or or you will not get a story tonight. That made her start crying and she was like, okay. So I sat her down and said, tidy your toys, in a very firm voice. I'm, I'm probably very strict. I, I'm quite a strict parent. <clears throat> so then she didn't really start tidying. She just threw a few toys around the room. <clears throat> and started stamping her feet and everything, and basically doing what stroppy people do. This then caused my mum to come downstairs and shout at my sister. This then made my mum make her tidy, literally made her tidy, and then told and then brought her to the bathroom to wash her face, and then put her in her pajamas, and she had no story that night at all. Which shows you one lesson, if you're going to misbehave, you're not going to get the things you like. Just do as your parents say, and do as your babysitter says as well, especially if that babysitter's me. Because if you don't, I, I can tell I'd probably be arrested in a few days after babysitting. So, so just do as your parents or guardians or whoever looking after you says. Anyway, thanks for watching, and bye.